Okay, I finished another sketchbook on Hello. I apologize if I sound a bit weird. I have a cold again. I think I had a cold last sketchbook tour too, but it's fine. This is sketchbook's over and now it's gonna be tours. I apologize if I'm awkward on camera, but whatever. Okay, this is the cover. I have a bunch of stickers and they kind of just sat in my room for months. So I kind of shoved them on, I got them on vacation or whatever. And here we go. Okay, so this sketchbook started like the end of the end of last year, I think. So that's December. I think if I know my months correctly, I only know them from the month song. So I think I'm correct. And then, yeah, I ended it like yesterday. And then I did some just doodles in it today. So yeah. Okay. First drawing. This, this was done with um, markers and colored pencils. Something I did not end up doing again in my sketchbook, which I regret. I, I love drawing like this. I think this turned out really good and I'm very happy with it. Sketch, my 16th sketchbook, I think. Technically my, um, it's technically actually like 15 and 16 and a half, no. Okay, there's a sketchbook that I lost that I got like halfway through. Don't know where it is. It's kind of sad, a newish sketchbook. Like some stuff in there, but whatever. Okay, this, I never, I wanted to fill this whole page up. I never actually got it, got to do that though. I like this one, I like this one. Also a lot of the drawings in here, you're gonna, um, if you watch my shorts, you'll see them on there. Cause that's, that's a lot of what I draw now. I, I've been drawing every day. So you'll, if you watch my shorts, you'll recognize a lot of stuff. A worm. Nose studies thing. I need to do more studies, but I am lazy, so I don't. This, this was like a squishmallow as a human. Don't love it, but I think the tie-dye on the um, shirt looks cool. Yes, Bill Cipher. This turned out way better than I thought it would have. Like, I didn't think, first off, Granted, the background's still kind of, not splotchy. It's streaky, streaky, that's it. But I kind of copied a photo for this, but not completely. Well, no, I, I mostly copied a photo. Mostly, not 100%. But I love how this turned out. And I kind of haven't done any full page, other any other full page stuff except a couple other times in the sketchbook. So I like this, this like, I like this piece. It's kind of unique, stands out from the rest of my. So, this is New Year. When I said I started it at, yeah, I started at the very end of the year, so only a couple days before the New Year. So 2023, I'm proud of this. Which I chose a different color for the background. Bad choice in color, but whatever. The balloons look cool. Could have tried harder, but you know, fine. Also, I apologize if the camera shakes at all. I am, this is being filmed on like a lamp that stretches and it is right in front of me, so I apologize if that happens. So also, this is um, when I got my purple hair, like half purple. So if you see it, sign you my older stuff, which don't, I mean, when I older, I mean, it's like a couple months old, but that, I have blue hair in those, so no. Purple. This was supposed to be like drawing a, um, maybe the terrible, but anyway. This um, this was supposed to be like doing a drawing based of a song, but I just like took a screenshot from the music video. This is I Eat Boys by Chloe Moriando. She's really good. I went to a concert of hers, very fun. Um, yeah, this is that. That's what this is supposed to be. She looks insane. This did, um, <laughs> did not turn out as I would have liked, but you know what? It's fine. It's all great. Okay. Rambo and Amesy. I've been watching, got it. I resubscribed um, to Rambo today. I've been subscribed with Prime to him. Oh God, I think my camera's freaking again. For a lot, I've been subscribed to him for like two years now. I think it was my two year thing today. And I'm very happy about that, but I drew Ram Rambo and Amesy. They're my, one of my favorite duos in that sphere. Cause people make, there's like a million duos. And it's one of my favorites. But yeah, I don't think I drum really any other fan art, but I mean, I had to drum SMP phase, but um, 
So I used to draw a lot of fan art back then, but still got some here and there. Okay, wait, let me turn this. Okay, this, so like I, you know how I said, um, my other, the, um, the one drawing I did of I Eat Boys by Claude Mariando. Well, this, um, that, fa that video failed, so I want to do it again. And this was, um, this was Turn the Lights Off by Tolly Hall. Love that song. But, um, Blue Boy turned into Monster. Cause, yeah. Just turned out really good. I think the bed sheets, like, turned out really good. Looks bed like. Folds. I don't draw folds. So, like, wow, that turned out. I mean, the effect of the door didn't exactly turn out as I wanted to. I did not think that out enough, but I like this. Again, I wish I did more, like, almost full page stuff like this that I didn't. Okay. Next up. This is a, um, this is another video. Also, yeah, I think I might have already said that every drawing in here, almost every drawing in here has been in a YouTube short. But I don't know how many people watching this have watched all my shorts. So, and this one did terrible. So I'm also, I'm also thinking about reposting it, but you know, I'll think about that later. This was Pickle Out Partying, that's the prompt they got on a random prompt generator. And this is what I did. It's Pickle. Not much more to say about that. I don't like the background, but I like the pickle. She, she's cute, it's nice. This is an OC I had. Um, and when I mean like OC, I haven't been able to keep like an OC up for like a couple years now, which is really annoying. So I used to have OCs all the time, like characters I would draw everywhere. It might also have been that I used to write a lot. I don't write anymore. Like I used to write a lot of stories and fantasy stuff and it, it was good but I haven't done that anymore so I kind of stopped having characters so this this one stayed for like barely in time I was just drew different outfits on her I, one day one day I will manage to figure out how to have another OC but not yet uh forgot what I was saying I had to go blow my nose like I said I have a cold but um oh my I'll be back. Anyway, okay, next page. This I did for speed paint. I like this one. I like this one. Don't like these two. It's fine though. This, I feel like this part of the sketchbook, I like you see it by this page, I kinda, it wasn't great. I, I don't know if I was busy during the, during this part, I don't know, but I could have been in this. I think I wanted to fill up the whole page. But I didn't, so now you got like one, two, three, four, five drawings on the page, five little heads. This one I'm very proud of. I like both of these. I think they turned out really good. Again, I need to do more stuff with just um, markers and um, my and colored pencil because I think it turned out really nice and I really, I really like how it turned out. I need to remember to use a reference. I used a reference for both of these. And I always forget, but I don't know how it turned out. Okay, this, this I didn't like a short like four part series of just drawing things I don't usually draw. I mean these two turn out pretty nice, kind of nice, not too bad, not too bad, not great, but these two not so much. I have, whenever I use the color pink, especially for this, I can never find a good shade because um, if anyone else has a hoo hoo markers, the tops of the markers don't match the actual color at all. That's why that pink's way brighter than I would have liked and I got lazy. This, honestly, this is either this one or this one's my favorite. I don't plan on drawing backgrounds anytime soon because I did not enjoy doing this. Those took me way longer than they should have. Okay. Yep, I was definitely going through some type of art block because I get I think I remember during this part because this is again like three drawings not filling up the whole page. I don't hate it though. Like I mean the proportions on this are, and this are a bit funky but it's fine. Yeah definitely our block. <laughs> yeah this um it's like I'm gonna draw something on the page so I have to draw every day but I'm not gonna want to finish anything on the page so that's it. Also little doodles. Also my pen was dying. I got more though. Ordered more off Amazon, but yep. Pen 
this dying. Yet another, um, yet another drawing based off the song. This was, um, Cabinet Man, as you can see by Lemon Demon. And I drew, I drew arcade things. Honestly, I like how it turned out. I like the colors. If only it wasn't, like, completely lopsided on the page. It's, like, all the way over here. And there's a giant thing over here, but it's, it's fine. I like it. It was kind of outside of box, not stuff I usually do. Like, a lot of the draw, if you look back at my old, other sketchbook tour that I've done, I think you can know, like, I draw, well, I drew that sketchbook, I drew much bigger pieces, like, I, I didn't draw that much before, so I really, because I've been drawing every day for YouTube, like, also, if you didn't know, I post shorts every day, subscribe for those, but, um, I hadn't had a schedule like that, I hadn't put in that much time into different drawings, but now I kind of started that, and so I get, like, pieces that aren't terrible, and that take time that have details stuff like that i don't know i'm jab jammering jabbering i'm saying words okay i think i drew these after when i realized oh wait i can use colored pencils i have those i have i have the thing of prisma color colored pencils i could never figure out how to use them so i just never did now i was like hmm, i should try these this is marker so I was like, hmm, oh, and I did this one, I just found a photo and I copied it. Like, oh wow, this is not bad. And then I did this, and I really like how this turned out. You can see way later on in the sketchbook I do another colored pencil thing that doesn't turn out as good. But, um, I really like how this turned out, I like the colors. This, not as good, but had fur in it, so I think it was a bit more challenging, the pants. Or a bit more challenging, because it's like has 3D stuff on the pants, but like it's not 3D, it's just pictures, but I kind of like how, I liked how this page turned out. This, I was like, I'm gonna use colored pencils, and then it turned out really bad. I don't like how it turned out, I didn't, I, I thought I'd finally succeeded on and figured out the secret to colored pencils. Spoiler, I did not. I, for some reason, I can, I don't know what, why, but I can really only draw outfits and stuff with colored pencils currently. I can't really draw faces, I don't know what it is about them, but I can't draw faces yet. So, right now I'm just sticking to drawing outfits with colored pencils and then chopping off the face whenever I do that. If you, if you can see, full every single one of these, neck down, this one, you have a bit shit, it's all masks. Yeah, this did not turn out great. And I gave up. I don't, I wrote, I don't feel like finishing this. Cause I didn't. Okay. I really like, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I really like both these pages. I did this one first and then I was like, I wanna pull this up. I was like, eh, it's gonna turn out terrible, but I'm just gonna do some doodles. Honestly, I kind of love how it turned out. Hootie, best character. Not really, but like, kind of. And I love Hootie. And did it with my pen. I got new pens. And I can you can read everything I wrote. And then this one I drew um, Amity, Luz, Ida, Booty, and um the cur what's the name? What's the creator? Yeah, yeah. And I drew him. There you go. I didn't know what to draw, so I don't know, kinda just drew random face. The foreheads barely there. I've kind of realized I often do that, but you know, I'm working on giving some some people sometimes a bit a bit bit more forehead. Bit. Spider Gwen, love her. Do I love the drawings? Eh, but you know, not that bad. I got lazy. I didn't want to do anything that would be too much time, too much effort. You know what? This is probably around. So I do high. I I'm in high school. I do theater. If you're in there, you would know. It takes up all your time. So I'd have like an hour in between, from like practice and um and school. So I need to just get something done. So I think that might have been what this was. I mean, I know later on I can definitely point where um, tech week for the musical was, cause 
<laughs> give you no time to do anything non-theater related. Yeah, I don't know if this was during, but this was during, because this, it's a full thing. I like it. Uh, you can pause it, read it yourself. But I really like how this turned out. Uh, this is kind of around when I, I actually no, I, I think I dropped before. Drew before, but this is my little avatar that I created. I really like, I really like how, how it turned out. She's cool, she's cool. A little avatar for me. And I like how it turned out. I just need to remember to draw it consistently because I totally forgot to draw the thingy things on the top of the head. Like, I, I love this. I think it really does look like a full, like, comic. And I, I want to be able to draw a comic sometime, sometime soon, in the next couple of years. Maybe get into that, but yeah, I like this page. Yep, this was, this was tech, this was tech week for, um, my, my school did Legally Blonde, I was in crew, so I, despite being in crew, I had no time backstage because I was behind the set during the show, so I had like one hour b between school and thing to draw, so these were, all of these were done on different days, again, you can check my, scroll through my shorts and you can see what was done when, and yeah, so I started naming them, I didn't name them all, I need to remember to write them, so you got Bonanti, me and my friend came up with him, we, we designed him, this is probably my favorite one on the, on the page, Sir Tiny Top Hat, love them, Anti Carrot, also came up with my friend, but I like Bonanti better, Gwyneth, um, a comment suggested this, like it, so I chose that name, she looks cool, kind of creepy, but I like it, uh, I mean, maybe came up with a name at some point. Can't remember it. Um, this was like inspired by a grape. Cause why not? And I needed something quick to draw. Cause like I said, if you're in high school theater, you'll understand this is a full-time job. I, job I had no time to draw on top of regular schoolwork anyway. So we got this page that took forever. More little me's. It's what I look like. The closest you're getting to a face reveal anytime soon are these little drawings, so treasure them. But, um, yeah. I like, I like this page. It's nice. I think this was drawing like a bee as a human. I like both of these. I think they both turned out really cute. I like it. So this time I just keep experimenting with different pens. So, because why not? Sometimes I feel like, I don't know. I, I like using different pens. And, and smaller pens, because when you get smaller pens, then you could add more line weight. If the pen's not already too thick, so you, I like them. I don't know what else to say. Love this one. I kind of want to turn, oh wait, wait, ignore this. We got this one first. This was still tech, forget if this was tech week or the actual show, probably tech week. I tried to draw, I, so I was, again, bad little noodles, but I want, had to make them into a full video because I have no time to do anything else. D is varying quality, like this barely resembles mac and cheese, but whatever. But like, I like the cactus one. She turned out go good. Brownie, the hair is square. Brownies are usually squares, but whatever. Okay, and then this one. I love this. Don't know when I did this, but I love it. I kind of want to turn this into a sticker is what I was about to say, or I think I was about to say. Anyway, I want, I really want to turn this into a sticker. I want to, um, I just have to take a, first off, remember to do that. And then I have to take a picture of it and like turn it into digital. Cause I have sticker paper that I got a while back and haven't used yet. Like I do with many stuff. I will eventually use it. I will eventually do something with these, but yes, pizza. And then I wanted to do a whole thing of these, but I just got these two. So, donut version. Not much else to say about that. It's a donut. And it's me. Wow. This, I just watched um, Next in Fashion on Netflix, if you've seen that. So, the thing happens, you know, where you watch a show and for like a week, I'm gonna be like, I wanna design fashion. The same thing happened recently. I was watching, uh, rewatching Glow Up, and um, and I was like, I want to become a makeup artist, despite me never doing makeup ever. So I turned myself into an alien at like 4 a.m. in the middle of the night. It took three hours. It was fun, but um, 
Yeah, that's what this was. This was watching a show and being like, I want to be this for like a week, and then I just so I designed an outfit and then couldn't come up with anything else, so then I gave up on that. Okay. I think someone suggested making like a male version of this, so, or at least a more masculine version, so that's what I did, a more masculine version of that. The other one. Proportions are a bit messed up. Don't love it. Don't hate it though. It's fine. Moving on. Don't like this one. Also drew this like today. I was like, I'm gonna doodle on the on all the blank pages, and then I got bored. I was like, I'm gonna film a sketchbook tour because if I don't, I'm gonna have no time to do anything else. Oh my gosh, I should stop talking so fast because then none of you are gonna be able to understand what I'm saying at all. Okay. Okay. More me again. Didn't have much. No, I think I had time. I think that. Yeah, I remember. This one took forever. For no reason, but it was just the coloring. See, I had a color of this purple color, this purple color, this purple color, this. It was annoying. Was it worth it? Sure. Nothing else to do. Ooh, this next one. This next one. See, this is what. Granted, not great. I have more like this, like two others. The next one after this page, and then the last page, I do stuff like this. But you can obviously see there's some good stuff in here. This is what happens when I actually remember to put effort and like use a reference and use my materials. Then it turns out well, but I never remember. I, ne I never remember to use a reference. I can never remember like when you have time, just like you can use your markers. Remember, you can draw portraits with markers. That's something you can like, you have the ability to do. You're not bad at that. So I remember, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do this. And I was like, oh my gosh, it turned out well. So I'm gonna try to do that more often when I have time. And this one, I think turned out better just cause um, I the proportions are just better than this one. This one, as much as I, I, I can't tell if I like the coloring of the face better. Comment which one you like better out of the um, three, cause there's one more that I do like this. But the proportion, I think, not even the proportions, the hair. The hair turned out so bad. Like, I don't know what I was thinking when I was doing that, but. Also, the hair on this isn't great, but the hair, actual hairstyle is not bad. But yeah, I, li I like this one. I hated it when it when I first finished. Same thing happened with the most recent one that I did um, yesterday. Hated it when I first finished it, but now I don't. I don't hate it anymore. I like it. It's one of my favorite ones in my sketchbook, except for the hair. I don't know how to dry hair with markers yet. Okay, this one. I was like, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do something simple. So I was like, I drew a banana with wheels, a strawberry with wings, grapes, but they have faces, an apple, but vampire. And then the next day I colored it in and I got carried away and I'm, I love how it turned out. Like, I think it turned out so well, especially for what it is. It's so colorful, it's so fun. I added like, I added oranges and lemons, plants, and it's cute, and it turned out well, and I'm very happy about that. This page, I think this page is fun. So much stuff going on, but in the best way. Everything Everywhere All At Once fan art. That I might re-upload this video, like that everything's a short in here, but um, yeah, I just, um, I'd watch Everything Everywhere All At Once for the third time that I watched it in theaters for the first time amazing if you if there's, if there's a place near you that's um released it in theaters i highly suggest it even if you've already seen it so obviously it's a great movie most people know that but let's go do some fan art i really like how this turned out this was a stupid color pencil trying to that first the this these doodles i did today but this First off, wrecked my YouTube channel for like, so which I'm still recovering from, because no one wants to see me draw a worm. No one wants me wants to see me draw a below average sunflower. I think the but well obviously the one in the middle is my favorite, and then probably the butterfly or the bunny. But the rest of them, they're not. Yeah, it was. I should not have done this, but I don't think I had time to do anything else. Or I'm not even, I'm not sure why. This is a bad decision all around. Oh, and we're, we're getting close to the end. 
yeah, it was it was a bad decision. Not not very smart. I couldn't not finish the page. I wanted to finish the page, and I'm glad I did. But yeah, my YouTube channel analytics were not happy about that. Okay, this I just watched um, Shadow and Bone, and I've loved the Six of Crows series. I think I read it first in sixth grade, which first off should not ha have a little bit mature for me, but whatever. I read it now and I love it. I think I appreciate it a bit more now that I'm older, but yeah, I drew all the characters. I really like, you can tell that I drew Kaz, Nina, and Inej on different days. Cause I, I drew Jesper, Jesper is my favorite character, followed by Inej, but I drew Jesper, Wildin, and Matthias on one day. The next, I think the next day I drew Kasnina and Inej, and you can tell. And then, like, two days ago, oh, I remember, I drew, um, I did, yeah, I drew these, and I put some on for days. Eh, you don't want to hear about that. But, um, okay, I drew Kaz even bigger. I wanted to, and then a different pose. I love Kaz, he's great. But, oh, we're, we're almost to the end. Last page, nothing here. But, Okay, this is like kind of a lot. I was like, I want to do something big. I like how my marker, I want to do something good, not big, but something good for like my last page. So I was like, so I just, so I wanted to do another marker portrait thing. And um, I think it turned out good. I love how it, like, I think I always, I don't know why I always, same thing with the other two. I always hate how they turn out like when I first finish them. But now I think I like it. I think. I don't know. I don't think I went as intense with the colors as I did with the other one, which I'm kind of disappointed about. It looks much more natural. And I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. But it's the last page. And, you know, I like how this turned out. I think this is probably my best, definitely but my best sketchbook so far. And I want to continue. I need to get continue doing sketchbooks like this. Doing bigger stuff page stuff like this and yes a uh, comment what was your favorite thing in the sketchbook sorry for being a bit rambly and not great on camera i'm working on it but i post shorts every day i am um, and i'm trying to post videos more regularly so subscribe for those i want to reach a thousand soon i'm at like 700 right now so don't think i'm gonna achieve that but i would love to i really really want to so sorry for going like this so much. I don't know what to do with my hands. I apologize, but um, yeah. Bye.